last topic involving conditional formatting will be the stop if true option. And the file will be income, income temp f income temp. We'll just say that. Okay, so if you click stop if true on a conditional formatting rule, then Excel will stop there if the rule is true in the cell and go no further. Okay, and let's show you an example that will illustrate the utility of this stop if true rule. So in this file, we have 2010 median income in every state. So we want the 10 states with the highest income to have an up arrow from the icon steps. And the other 40 states to have nothing. So there's probably a variety of ways of doing variety of ways of doing this, but what we could do is put in the icon sets where the top 20% of the data get an up arrow, and then we could put in the other 40 states get no format if they're not. In other words, the bottom 40 we get a stop if true, and we put no format there. So then basically if it's in the bottom 40, we never even get to the icon set. So let's give that a try. Okay, so we'll select this range. We'll go conditional formatting and it, it's not gonna really matter what we put, but let's say we do top bottom rules, just easier to think this way for me. And I go bottom 40. And I can go custom format, which we haven't used. And I can go fill nothing. Okay. Now if I go conditional formatting, okay, can add icon sets. Let's do those five arrows and they're all there. Now let's go to manage rules. Okay, so if I go conditional formatting, I go to manage rules, let's take a look at what we've got. Now I want the bottom 40 with no format, I want that to be on the top. Okay, and I want stop if true. I can check it there. Now in the icon sets, I want the top 20%. So I'll do percentile. I don't care about the rest. But anything in the top 20% here, okay, is going to be highlighted. Okay, so look at that. We've got the up arrows in the top 10 steps. Okay. So again, if we look at this, wrong range, conditional formatting, manage rules, okay. So we see the stop if true means it won't get to the icon sets for anything that's in the bottom 40, and anything that's not in the bottom 40 will do icon sets and get the top 20%, which in this case, if I had District of Columbia in here, I don't even know if we do or not. We don't have District of Columbia, so that we have the 50 states. So that works out fine. Okay, so that concludes our discussion, conditional formatting. I hope you'll use this in your data analysis and presentations because it really does make a splash and is both style and substance. And then we'll go on to, in the next few videos, data validation, a way to sort of highlight data points in your spreadsheet that are entered that make no sense and are surely incorrect to help you reduce data errors. Okay, we'll see you in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.